thank you all for coming back again. I'm super excited to be here. So today I have come up with another look for you all. So I've decided to do Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo. And I'm really excited. Someone did this on somewhere, I can't remember, I saw, I just saw a picture of her on Instagram, I think, and I was like, yes, oh my god, I can't believe I haven't done her before. Um, her look is obviously very, very simple, very iconic though, so, in terms of makeup, it's going to be very, just, very simple, but it's going to be good. Alright, so I'm going to get started. I'm not covering my brows for this, um, look, because she has some bushy brows, and I think we can work with what we have here. So, that's good, so I'm going to get right into it, so I'll see you guys in two seconds. Alright, so I'm going to go in like usual just with my TV paint stick, my Crown TV paint stick. This is in 0B. Um, oh no, it's actually quite good. I sort of have a bit of a tan, so none of my foundations are matching. I feel like I'm forgetting a step. I haven't done this in so long. Um, so we're going to have to just kind of do with what we've got here. I'm just going to put this all over like usual. I'm going to take my beauty blender. Just like usual, blend it all out. Cool, and I'm going to move on to concealer. So this is just my usual LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm just going to do that underneath the eyes. Not a whole lot because like Frida isn't, she was never, she was snatched but not snatched. So I just sort of like trying to just make this a little bit interesting by just brightening it up a tiny bit but not too much. And just blend. We're gonna do some contour. We're kind of gonna like really go in with the contour because she's obviously a bronzed lady. It's all about that life. Just a little bit of nose contour, nothing crazy. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Very very simple. So we're just gonna. Put some powder on real quick. Just to settle that. Yeah. Okay, just my S bun. Right, gonna brush all that back. Alright, cool. So we're gonna go in with some contours now. So I'm just gonna take whatever you have and I'm just gonna get in there no sort of like definitive line just chuck it everywhere up the temples as well like usual now I'm gonna take more of like an orangey bronze and just that same I'm actually going to mix it with some of this orange bronze in this just this elf blush palette Sort of like run that along the cheeks and up. Okay, I'm gonna take this um, blush color. So I'm, I'm a little bit off. I like don't remember what I'm even supposed to be doing. I'm just gonna run that along the cheeks just a little bit. Alright, so we're all bronzed. We're gonna bake just real quick. This is my Kryolan blending powder in white. As usual. Just gonna hit those high points. Alright, cool. I'm gonna start on the eyes. So, I have this new. Kat Von D just sent me this new Pastel Goth palette. Very excited to use it. I'm gonna take this like peachy color. This is called Clementine. And we're just gonna sort of start that in our. Oh my god, they're so pigmented. Yes, good. I'm uh, just kind of run that all over the liver. So I'm just trying to build up a bit of color here. So we're just starting quite light. I'm sort of bringing this into here and like blending it all up into here. Because that's where the brow is going to be quite heavy. So I want to 
she's sort of got like a really um deep brow bone so I'm sort of trying to create that vibe Cool, now we're gonna go just in with the usual um, multi palette. We're gonna go in with some of these um, darker oranges here and just darken up that crease. Okay, I'm just going straight in with the, this bit of this brown here. Because we really need to darken up this crease. I'm going to go with these darker purples and a bit of this black just to really start to darken it up. Alright, so I'm going to take this black liner and we're going to line our waterline just underneath and sort of run that quite messily just along the top. just to darken our eye a bit. Okay, now I'm gonna take angled brush and a bit of black shadow and just take this and sort of blend out that black line just a bit. And just intensify it and all that. Brush, black, just a tiny, tiny bit. We sort of just want to blend that into there. So we have our eyes, so they're pretty simple. They're just like simple halo sort of eyes. I also got sent this sugar pill sent me some more stuff. Um, this is just their pumpkin spice um, pressed eyeshadow. And this stuff is literally insane. It's so, so crazy pigmented. So I'm gonna take this on just a little flat brush here. And we're gonna put this on our lids just to sort of jazz it up a little bit there. A little bit extra. Alright, cool. So I'll probably come back to them once we don't do our eyebrows, but that's it for now. I'm gonna do just a bit of mascara. Let's go down the bottom. So I'm gonna take this and just brush all that away. All right, I'm gonna take that um, brush I had, all that sort of like the like the um, that shade on it, just whatever's left on it, and we're just gonna rub that very very sort of casually down the bottom. Not doing it directly, so you can see that. Not doing it directly underneath. So we're trying to create a bit of like a a bag. Are you crazy? I'm just going to do a tiny bit of mascara on the bottom. Alright. 
So our eyes are done for now. We're going to definitely come back after we do our brows, but I think we need to do brows to sort of get an idea of how this is all going to come together. So I'm just going to spoolie my brows out. So remember, her brows are like very bushy. You guys know the drill. So... I'm going to take um, black liner that I was just using. And we're basically just going to start going in. I'm going to put in a bit of powder for fallout because we're going to go in with some um, shadow now. I just don't want to, this, any of this to fall anywhere. So I'm going to take that um, angled brush I was using before. And we're going to really, really get in there now. go back in with some darker colors so I'm going to take and it's like brown purplies blacks all that and we're really gonna bring this up into this brow bone here just get this whole area there quite solid for the eyes I think I think we're good good gumdrops okay cool all right let's move on to lips and then we're nearly done this is a very 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 simple makeup look all right so we're gonna do classic red Frida lips so I'm just gonna take this red lip liner and we're gonna outline and um, fill in with just this <laughs> Have our lips on. I'm gonna get rid of all this powder now. I'm completely done here. Now, before we finish, I've got to do a little bit of moustache hair. Just a little bit. Just gonna take that same um, pencil we we're using. Let's go have some fun. do just a bit more blush I'm gonna go in with this bright bright red here and really sort of pack it on okay guys I think this is it so now you guys know the deal I'm gonna go put on hair accessories all that kind of stuff and I'll be right back and we'll be done so see you guys in two seconds. Bye. Okay. This is my Frida. 
hope you guys enjoyed so i just have some jewels i've got like a bit of a like a bit of a red chico just some earrings and then these are just all fake flowers and then just a bit of a braid so i really enjoyed doing this video just a really simple look to kind of get myself back in the groove of things um i hope you guys enjoyed hope this was fun to watch and interesting and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i have heaps more videos planned so i'm really excited so like usual i'll see you guys next time thank you guys bye